Hey, what's up everyone? My name's Kyle. And I'm April. And today we're going to be working on how to climb technical ledges. So the reason we're doing this video today is out here in Chico, there is a ton of little rock ledges everywhere, um, ranging from probably like four inches tall up to almost a foot or more. And it can be pretty infuriating to learn, especially when you're a little bit newer to the sport or you just haven't been practicing technical climbing as much. So last week we actually came out here and we're trying to film a few different things and April had a couple technical climbs that she was struggling on. And so we decided we're going to take a little bit of time and actually practice the technique. Um, the technique we're going to be talking about today, a lot of people will call like a punch or the punch method. So what we're going to focus on today is getting the front wheel unweighted and lifted up a ledge, unweighting and lifting the rear wheel. Yesterday we actually went and kind of sessioned a random two stair and we did a little bit of sessioning on there to kind of show the technique. And so we'll kind of play that part first and go back in time and kind of work through some of those things. And then we'll come out here onto the trail and see if April can conquer a few of these little ledges that were giving her trouble the other day. Okay, so we're out here at this little two stair and I kind of wanted to prove a point a little bit. On a lot of the videos, the tutorial videos I've seen in the past, um, people will talk about how when you come into a ledge or a little technical feature, you want to press down in the suspension to get the front wheel to lift. I think that that should be a byproduct of using proper technique. That shouldn't be the goal that you're trying to achieve, if that makes sense. And so I brought this little Wu-Tang beach cruiser for my buddy out here for a minute. It has a rigid fork, it has no rear suspension, and it has like really crummy plastic pedals. And I'm gonna go up this two stair barefoot to show you that it's not, it's not about the clip pedals, it's not about suspension, it's not any of that. It's literally just creating a little bit of lift using your own body weight and then using the handlebars to kind of push the rear up. So let's just <laughs> see how this goes. You ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I went and grabbed my real bike for now. Um, the reason that I'm gonna demo on this versus the two stair, it's a little easier to kind of understand visually because it's a bigger block. It's about, it's probably eight inches high, just below my axle height. And without the second step here, you can really see how to generate that lift a bit better as a demonstration. So we're gonna talk about for one, how to generate the front wheel lift. And then for two, how to get the rear wheel lift. The number one thing that I see people struggle with is when they come in and try to generate the front wheel lift, they get over the back of the bike I see people come in like this and they lean back and then they hit the ledge and they can't get the rear wheel up because they basically are in a back seat position. They're not in like a aggressive position where they can make a move happen. What I like to think about is keeping my handlebars in line with basically my chest or maybe just a little bit my chest in front of the handlebar slightly. And what I'm able to do there is I kind of compress my arms and then when I pop up, I basically am tensing my arms and almost doing like a kettlebell extension. When it comes to the rear wheel lift, the reason that I was trying to show you guys how to do it barefoot on the Wu-Tang bike was because I hear a lot of people say that you need to push in your suspension or that you need to pull with your legs to get the rear wheel up. This is much more similar to like a standard bunny hop where your front wheel comes up and then you push your bike forward to get the rear wheel up. It's not so much like you're pulling up with the feet. It's again, more of that front wheel up, rear wheel up. And once I'm here, I just do the lift. The more patient you are, the easier it is to lift because if you need to lift from here, it's like that versus if you get up here and then you lift <laughs> from there, it requires a lot more energy. I like to wait till basically my front foot passes the edge of the ledge. That's kind of my marker. And then once I'm here, I just do the lift. You are still going to do a little bit of that kind of coil and pop to get your bike to be weightless. So you're not essentially bringing the bike up with you with your clip pedals or trying to like scoop the bike up with your flat pedals. What you're really doing in that situation is you're getting out of the way of your own self so that when you're weightless, that's when you kind of do that roll and that's how you get the rear wheel coming up. Your front wheel's up and then like that. It's kind of hard to describe the shoulder movement sometimes because it's so subtle. It's more of like launching your body forward and as you launch your body forward, you're kind of grabbing the grips a little bit. So I don't know if you can see my back wheel is gonna come up right now, but it's, I'm here. So yeah. it's that little, it's that little like, 
Just that little shrug. Really slow, you're going up a nasty technical trail. Get a little pedal stroke. I'll do it quick for you too. When learning this skill, I like to kind of break it down where you're really just focusing on that movement, front wheel up, rear wheel up. Because when you start adding too much in, it can get chaotic. And this doesn't need to be a chaotic move. It can be such a smooth and slow move. With you next to your bike, let's just see what you took away from that little mini lesson. Okay, number one thing is body positioning. I want to have the chest a little in front of the handlebars. Number two is once I lift here, I want to have patience for my rear wheel to be just about before it. Going front. Boom, perfect. Okay. And with that little bit that you cased, just that yeah. tiny bit, your suspension and tire will absorb that no problem. Okay. What about hard tail? <laughs> On a hard tail, you gotta be a little bit more precise. You wanna give it a shot? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Ready when you are. Okay. More speed. I thought I could do it as slow as you do it. <laughs> I was doing it slow on the ledge because I don't have to clear that extra step. Oh. But this is a really good teacher because it teaches you to actually do it like trail speed. Okay. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say it was easy? Yeah. <laughs> Did that feel different than uh, normal? Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's crazy how easy the small details are, or the small details make, yeah. Yeah. Ready? Yep. Oh, <laughs> <Too> <laughs> <slow>. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was cool. Crazy. Can you feel a difference? Yeah, it feels so much smoother. Yeah. I'm sure with practice, I'll, I'll look a lot smoother, but <laughs> I feel like I'm got some funny face uh, expressions in that. <laughs> I'm stoked. Yeah, that's, that's a good goal, huh? Yeah, usually that's scary. So it's cool to feel just how easy it was to get through well up. Yeah, so April just crushed it on that. And like I was saying, everything that she's doing there looks great. That's exactly what I was hoping for. So I'm excited to see how much easier it'll get with practice and time. Let's head over to the trail and see if we can get April climbing up some of these things that have been a little bit of a struggle. <laughs> All right, so we made it to April's arch nemesis, <laughs> which is up this trail here, come around this corner, and then up this ledge, there, and then up that ledge, and then go. I have to make it up the next ledge too. I feel like that's kind of, <laughs> you gotta do that. We're gonna be here all day. We might be here all day. <laughs> <laughs> Coming into the section, I'm gonna have my seat up. I'm gonna drop it down just like an inch or two. I'm in my third easiest gear. I'm outside, looking at the ledge now, setting up. One, two, one, two. One, two. So this would be more of a normal speed, how I would hit it if I was just out on a trail ride. Coming in. <laughs> Does that look doable? Yeah, I mean, you make it look super easy. <laughs> <laughs> Even yeah. at slow speed and it looks like minimal effort from you. Yeah, I think it's kind of one of those things like we were talking about earlier. I'm not pulling up with my feet you know, like on the Wu-Tang bike when I was barefoot, I'm not pulling up with my feet. All I'm really doing is I'm kind of like loading my legs, which compresses the suspension a little bit. And then I'm unloading my legs, which makes me weightless. And it kind of helps the bike come up. And then as I do that, I just do like a little push with my arms. So it's really, really small, but I'll show you what happens if I don't do the unweight. So this is what a lot of people do is they come up and then. Yep, that's me. Yeah, so if you feel like you're doing that, the reason is you're not unweighting the rear. So literally the only difference is I'm gonna do a little crouch with my legs and then unweight and kind of jump up the ledge with my bike. But I, I don't have any attachment here. It's just unweighting it. So here. 
Mm. Once you're here, I like to try to be in the front of the bike like this. So then when I do my lift, I'm like that. Yeah. Versus if I'm in the back like this, <laughs> then yeah, I'm Yeah, you went backwards. I went backwards. So it's, you want to be in the front here and then up. Yeah. Now it's your turn. All right. All right, you ready, April? Yeah. It's just a lot to think about right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was a lot better. You were just a little late, but okay. yeah, like your, your back tire basically hit right when you lifted. I always kind of look down and just see where my front foot is. And right when my front foot hits the ledge, that's when I pop. Okay. Get it. The pop, pop. Oh, that was so close. Oh, that's so close. Still so April's doing a really good job, but what she's having a hard time with is basically getting the pop up. So what's happening a lot is she'll come in, get the front wheel lift, and then just pedal into the rock, which is really common. And so what we're trying to focus on is getting her to pop up and unweight the rear wheel. And that's like the hardest thing, but that's what we were practicing the other day on the two stair and on the curb is that lift up. It just gets a little bit more difficult when you're going up a hill because you're kind of popping up towards your stem a little bit more. And yeah, it's a little more awkward, but I think she'll get it, no problem. Just to try to have some success and like get the, the stoke back is we're gonna work on these little ledges right here, these little straight ledges. Um, there's a nice run in, it's a lot more mellow, a little bit flatter, but there's two ledges in a row. And I think this will help her get the timing of like getting that rear wheel lift. So we'll try that out for a bit, see how it goes. How are you feeling? Uh, pretty defeated. <laughs> you are? Yeah, but I knew this was really hard to get. And that's why I said, if I even get the first one, I'd be happy. But um, these are really hard for me, so I expected it to be a challenge. Hopefully that'll help. But it is a pretty good lift, so yeah, still I've, be a challenge. Yeah, I'd be stoked if you get any of these. I think it'll be really great. It's not necessarily like a high danger maneuver, but it's yeah. high technicality. Right. But yeah, you're doing good. Thanks. Hang in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, the reason we're going to try this is April's having the tendency to pedal as she does the lift. And on this one right now, I think we can generate enough speed to kind of coast through these two lifts and just practice the popping up, kind of unweighting. So what we're gonna try to do is come in like this. I'm on April's bike right now, but pedal, pop, lift, pop, lift. And I think that if you can get this down, it'll really help you in the future with stuff like that corner one. Sometimes kind of um, removing elements and just bringing it down to the foundation. So right now we're basically gonna remove the need to pedal, but we're still kind of going uphill, still doing a little bit of these ledge work. It'll just help kind of build that compound movement later, but you're gonna, you're gonna get it, I promise. I believe in you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, wild. Is, this is good. This will be really good practice. Yeah, it'll be good for timing, I think. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Woo! That was awesome. Yeah, that felt smooth. That was really good, April. Thanks. It's just so much harder when it's at more of a uphill. Yeah. I feel like a heavy cat. <laughs> this helps with confidence. <laughs> yeah. And you can tell that second one I felt like was a really good lift. Yeah. It get just nice and smooth. The first one, you're kind of a little bit late, but the second one you had perfect, so. Okay. Yeah, that was good. So that's kind of what's gonna happen a lot of times when you're climbing a techie climb, is you won't get that full, nice, smooth, clear. You'll kind of like be hung up on it a little bit and have to start pedaling again. Yeah. That's how I feel most of the time, is I'll basically barely clear it or kind of hang up on it a little bit and then have to keep pedaling through it. Okay. Yeah. You said you can feel it when it happens right? Yeah, you can just, you can feel how smooth it is. It's like the rock isn't even there. You don't even feel it. Mm -hmm. And it feels like how you look. <laughs> <laughs> no, that looks, honestly, that looks perfect. I yeah. couldn't think of any critique or anything to give you on that. Stupid corner. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that was it. <laughs> look at it. Yeah. You did it. I made it up. That was insane. Yeah. 
I stopped here. Yeah. But that's the best for sure. That's awesome. Yeah! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> At least got a, some pedal. That was sick. I think that's success for me. Are you happy with that? Yeah. That's a very intimidating ledge just because the corner, I think, and going uphill some. I bet if I stayed here and worked on it at least a few times, I could get the whole thing. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> cool. I'm really stoked on that you stayed and did that and worked on it. And this helped a lot too on the ledges. I think so, yeah, and getting some confidence because Going into that, I didn't have like any confidence. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god! I'll make it! I did it! I did it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, we came here just to get a thumbnail to get something that would actually show on picture. And I was actually trying it, Kyle was gonna do it, but <laughs> I did it. That's sick. <laughs> Thank you. We need to go measure how tall that is. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Look at that. Quite a bit higher. That's over axle height. Yeah. That's awesome. I can't believe I did that, especially all the rocks after. Yeah, for sure. Somehow I missed them. <laughs> I don't know how I made it up that, because that was a pretty hard gear, and I thought I wouldn't be able to pedal through the rocks after, but. You had good speed and it looked so smooth. It felt smooth. I can't believe I just made that. <laughs> <laughs> like, starting at that other ledge, such, low confidence and just those little ones gave me a ton more yeah. to get that feeling of weightlessness. And Did it feel like the same technique the whole time? Yeah. Um, but this one, since it's higher and I had a little bit more speed, I had to lift my front wheel, front wheel earlier. So I did smash it one time and then my, my chain hit the rock <laughs> again. So a lot of it's timing. That was awesome. Yeah, I'm stoked. All right, so that was a wrap. Um, this was a pretty long video, so thanks for sticking around. We hope you enjoyed and learned something from it. The goal of today's video, like we said, was to get up any ledges that you find out on the trail or even like a curb or tall curb that you have on the way to work or school. I think it's such a great skill to learn and possess and it can get you out of trouble so many times. It's a lot easier to do than a bunny hop and it can kind of get you over, up and over things that you never thought possible. So yeah, how'd you feel today? Like, I was also curious about the practice that we did the day prior. Did you feel like that helped you? Yeah, I think it helped a lot. Um, just giving me some confidence knowing that I can lift my rear wheel because that is something I struggle with and seeing how easy I could get over with having proper uh, body positioning. Mm -hmm. um, so confidence is a big thing that helps me. And then today I did learn, especially with this big ledge, I've always looked at something like this as I'm not strong enough to hit it. And I felt like it was a very power move and I learned how much technique can do, mm -hmm. how much technique can get you through it. And I've always known that I can get through a lot of things with technique, but for some reason this, I just didn't think I yeah. could. Well, it's, it is pretty drastic. Like when you do it right and you actually use the mechanical advantage you have, you know, that extra leverage, it's, it makes a huge difference. And when you're out on the trail and you do it right, like I said, it doesn't feel like a punch. It feels just like, it is a nice like cloud, like lifting. Yeah. So. It feels really great and it's hard to describe, but it feels like what you look like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just honestly, it feels like there's not even a rock there and you just kind of go up and over and you're just a little all-terrain vehicle climbing up stuff. So yeah. I don't know, it's a fun skill to learn and I hope that this gives you some tips to practice. And if we missed anything or if you have any questions, throw them in the comments. We are gonna do another follow-up video of how to climb steep, loose climbs, because that's kind of a whole nother subset of skills. And uh, I know a lot of people say I spin out a lot or I can't get traction on the steep stuff. So we will do a video on that, but this is all about ledges today. Thanks for watching and maybe even cheering me on. I hope that you learned something from this too and we'll see you next time. Yeah, see you guys. I ain't saying that I need you back. If it was right here, baby. Then at least I can reach you back. I ain't saying that I need you back. What's your dog like? He's a little right. five pound working. Right. Mm. <laughs> you tell Alexa to play me and no for no make the short one is crazy. I came in a Uber, but it's a Mercedes. I gave you